Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about bacterial vaginosis. But before we continue, let me introduce myself. My name is Adriana and I'm a pharmacist and I'm an expert in over-the-counter medications. So before we continue, remember that this video is not direct medical advice and you should always consult your doctor prior to self-treating. All right, so today's topic is going to be about bacterial vaginosis. We're gonna talk about how it's caused, what are the symptoms, how to prevent it, and some myths about bacterial vaginosis. If you're interested in how to treat bacterial vaginosis using boric acid vaginal suppositories, please watch my other video titled Boric Acid for Bacterial Vaginosis. Now let's get right into it, ladies. So if you guys already haven't, please check out my blog on cosmeticpharmacist.com and this information will also be there just in case you miss anything. Hi Leo, you decided to join us. Thank you my BB. Thank you my BB. So ladies, sorry about the cat. Um, so let's just get right into what causes bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is an infection of the vagina and it's caused by when the bacteria in your vagina are thrown off. When your normal bacteria are thrown off, harmful bacteria that are present in small amounts start to overgrow. Bacterial vaginosis or BV commonly affects women at the age of 14 to 45. He's gone now. So the most common reasons why a woman will develop bacterial vaginosis are the following having a new sexual partner or multiple sexual partners, having unprotected sex, douching, having an IUD, which is an uh, intrauterine device, smoking, drug and alcohol abuse, taking certain antibiotic medications, and being pregnant. So there are certain myths about bacterial vaginosis that I wanted to discuss. Can you get BV from sitting on toilet seats? No. Can you get BV from swimming pools, hot tubs, or bathtubs? No. And another myth is that BV does not have to be treated and it'll go away on its own. No. So the reason why it's very important to get treated for bacterial vaginosis is because it increases your risk for sexually transmitted infections, HIV, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. In addition, if you're pregnant and have BV, you definitely want to get treated because having BV can increase your risk of premature labor and complications in the pregnancy. So there are three main ways that you can figure out if you actually have bacterial vaginosis. The first way is verifying your signs and your symptoms. Now, in order to find out the difference between yeast infection, bacterial vaginosis, and a sexually transmitted disease called trichomoniasis, please see my video titled, how do I know if it's a yeast infection or bacterial vaginosis? So back to signs and symptoms of bacterial vaginosis. The first thing is your discharge. With bacterial vaginosis, you'll notice that your discharge is very, very watery and foamy, and it can be gray and white. Then the smell of the discharge is another sign. If the smell of the discharge is fishy and very foul, that is also a sign of bacterial vaginosis. Some other symptoms that may also be similar to other types of vaginitis would be swelling of the V, burning or itching of the V, and redness. So the second way to find out if you have BV is to test your vaginal pH. So there are kits available without a prescription that can test your vaginal pH. Now the pH of the vagina is very important because it will determine if you have an infection or if your vagina is healthy. Now a normal pH is between four and 4.5. Anything above that would indicate some type of infection, most likely bacterial vaginosis. If the pH is four to 4.5, most likely you might have a yeast infection or your vagina is healthy. So, I actually was able to um, find a vaginal pH kit on Amazon. Now this brand 
is from Vinoyo. And the one that I purchased has five kits available. So they are very easy to use. So you pretty much just open it like this. Now what I really like about this brand is it'll have here the pH and the colors. So what you'll do is, so these are very easy to use. You wanna make sure that you're only touching this part of the kit. This part here, you insert into the vagina. Um, it's best to insert it in and twist it around to get a good sample. And you don't pee on it, it's not a pregnancy test. <laughs> and in this window here, come on, come on camera. All right, yeah, so in that window here, that's where you'll have the color change. And based on that color is what your vaginal pH is. It also does come with a set of instructions. Um, and like I said, it's very, very easy to use. Um, the content of the package is just a hygienically packaged test applicator and a set of uses instructions and a pH color scale. So it has a for your information section where it just explains how the uh, pH of the vagina should be acidic and uh, usually it can be from a 3.8 to a 4.5. That's how um, this test measures. And it also um, does explain how if you notice a fluctuation in your pH, how it can be bac bacterial vaginosis, uh, sexually transmitted disease, etc. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, so this actually is a very informative um, pamphlet. It goes over pretty much everything that I'll be explaining in this video about bacterial vaginosis. And um, so even here on the um, package, it shows you, I don't know if you can really see it, but it'll show you how to use the kit. And on the back here, it has the color chart and it will tell you what is a normal pH and what steps to take if your pH is not normal. So if you click the link below, um, I did add the link to that product below on Amazon as well as the Monostat pH testing kit, which is very easy to use as well. All right, so the third way to verify if you have bacterial vaginosis is of course to go see your primary care doctor or your OBGYN. Your doctor will be able to get a idea of your medical history, your signs and symptoms, and will be able to do a physical exam and also send out some vaginal cells to the lab to be tested. So how is bacterial vaginosis treated? So bacterial vaginosis typically is treated with antibiotics that are prescription. However, a lot of evidence has came out recently um, regarding boric acid and its effectiveness in treating. If you're interested in how boric acid is used to treat bacterial vaginosis, please see my video titled Boric Acid for Bacterial Vaginosis. Now there are prescription antibiotics, there are prescription antibiotic creams, um, and prescription antibiotic tablets that can be used. Sometimes bacterial vaginosis is recurrent, so a second round of antibiotics is necessary. So according to the CDC, there is some data to suggest that boric acid should be added to the regimen for bacterial vaginosis. So some doctors are using this in practice where they will prescribe the prescription oral or topical antibiotics, and then they'll follow treatment with 600 milligrams of boric acid. Now, although boric acid is commercially available, it has not been evaluated by the FDA for safety or efficacy. For more information on bacterial vaginosis, please visit the cdc.gov, or visit the American Sexual Health Association, or visit womenshealth.gov. So that is the end of this video, ladies. I really hope that you learned something, that you'll learn how to identify if you have 
bacterial vaginosis and not be afraid to come out and seek treatment. I listed my references below. And again, I have the products linked down to Amazon if you'd like to um, purchase one of those pH tester kits. All right, ladies, well, that is it for this video. I really hope that you were able to learn about bacterial vaginosis, how to recognize your symptoms, and I hope that you're comfortable now seeking treatment. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that last video. Don't forget to go to my blog at cosmeticpharmacist.com for more information. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight